When I think of Formula Ford, I think of uh, the close hardcore racing with some of the best drivers around the country. Anton Di Pasquale, tell us how your Formula Ford journey got started. I was in karts in 2011, and then at that time they had a Miguel sort of arrive and have a go day through Arrow at that time, um, through the karting, so I did that, um, had a go with Sonic, and then from there, sort of decided that was a good thing, and uh, got into, in, into Formula 4 for 2012, did the State Series with uh, all the Sonic boys, and uh, yeah, that was, that was the way in, so I was just sort of like, weren't too sure what I wanted to do or whether I was should be doing cars and all because it's quite a big step um, and then yeah the, that day sort of opened my eyes and sort of went this really what I want to do and uh, that's what we did. It seems like you sort of got it straight away because it didn't take you long I mean in 2013 you're winning titles and in 2011 you haven't driven a car before. Yeah it, it came out really quick and it's it's a very good category for doing that um, obviously it's very different to a cart but um, with, with Sonic had sort of a really good team at that time and um, Mick and everyone there sort of taught me through and sort of guide you through the way so you're in, in really good hands you sort of basically have to listen to what they said and uh, you used to go all right because the cars are very fast so um, luckily being the right team and then yeah it was really enjoyable. It's traditionally a very very close category but you kind of dominated your championship winning year in, in 2013. Does, is that how it felt to you? Did it feel like a dominant year? Um, it started off really good. Um, we won the first round and then we sort of had a a few issues for for two rounds and then we come back um, had a fresh motor and all this kind of stuff and won two rounds straight which sort of set up the whole championship at the same time the guys I was battling had two bad rounds and then sort of that's that set me apart and then from there um, we managed to wrap it up with a round to go which was which was very relieving and it was one of my favorite tracks which was at Phillip Island which naturally I've just always gone pretty good at it was hard and every round was hard to fight which it always is but um, I think we just did everything right and sort of everyone on our bad days, we got really good results, and that's sort of what won us that championship. The honour roll for Australian Form of the Ford Champions is remarkable. It must be something special to have your name on that list. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, the Sonic always had a board sort of in the corner of the pits, which with all their champions, and most of them, if not all of them, are still in, on the grid today in, in supercars or doing something else. But um, the whole whole honour roll is quite good. Join that list. Was, uh, was was awesome, and it's it's quite a good thing to have your name. And still to today, people still recognise that as a as a as sort of a tick on your on your resume. And um, especially as, as a junior moving through the ranks, it was a it was a big thing. You went overseas after that. Did you feel that it, it had provided good grounding for you to make a big move like that? I was sort of halfway through my season in Formula Four. I got in touch with Larco, um, and he sort of helped me string that deal together and get me over there and sort of push me to try something else than what everyone else was doing and, and we did and although it didn't work out and sort of didn't get a drive in Europe and go to F1 and all that, all the glory over there but um, I still I still managed to win a championship, learn a lot and then that actually brought me back here which then got me the drives where I am now today so without that I, I'm not too sure where I would have been um, and then it all sort of started earlier.